what's up guys, Ian here, coach of your Ladner Lantern, bringing you guys our week 11 match of the UPBA. This week we were taking on Dat Dude, aka Brandon, and the Dallas Marowax. Um, unfortunately for him, um, because Rudiger won his match this week, he's now officially eliminated from the playoffs, uh, but we are still in the hunt for our own playoff spot, so this match matters a lot to us, and doesn't matter at all <laughs> to him. Um, yeah, so let's look over his team real quick. He's got Lander's Therian, which is his super easy user, Toxapex, Umbreon, Rotom Heat, Venusaur, Carbink, Manectric, Lycanroc Midday, which is an offensive Z user, Kyurem, Scizor as an offensive Z user, and Mega Sceptile. Uh, I did prep quite a bit for Toxapex, and if you didn't watch my team builder, then you should check that out to see my neat prep for Toxapex, because I'm not going to talk about it here. Um, well, I kind of am. Yeah, so I prepped a lot for Toxpex and I prepped a lot for Rotom Heat, neither of which he brought. Smart moves, I think, overall, although Toxpex was kind of a pain in the ass for my team. Uh, he did bring quite an offensive team. It looks like Umbreon's kind of the only defensive mod that he brought. He brought all three of the Z-users, so I really can't tell which one's which, uh, but I do think Landorus is potentially going to be the Z-user. I have no idea what he's going to lead. Um, in my mind, he was actually going to lead Landorus because I thought that it might be his rocker. Um, yeah, so let's talk about my team real quick here. I'm bringing sort of an anti-lead Crocodile, sort of an anti-lead Crocodile, um, just uh, fairly standard. We're just running dual stab with uh, Rocks and Taunt, um, Scarfed Infernape, we're bringing Ground DMZ Kyurem, Banded Crobat, Physically Defensive Suicune, and Lumberry Standard Mimikyu. So I'm going to lead with Crocodile because that's my, sorry, I'm going to lead with Crobat. Um, because the only thing that can outspeed me is Mega Sceptile, or a Scarf Mon. And I'm going to get a huge U-turn off on something. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to lead with Crobat here, as he's going to lead with Lycanroc. I just go for U-turn. That does so much damage. I'm like, what is that damage? Uh, but I just go into Crocodile thinking that he... I was expecting him to a Celeroc, to be honest, turn one. Just chip my Crobat down a little bit. It was going to do quite a bit of damage. And if he was going for Stone Edge or something, then Crocodile is my switch in to get the Intimidate off here. But he does just set up the Stealth Rocks, which is kind of detrimental to Crobat, and then he taunts me as I'm about to sit on my own Stealth Rocks. Uh, he gets the Toxic off on me. It's kind of an interesting Lycanroc like, set. I'm not a, the biggest fan of it, I don't think. Um, I would have loved to, because he doesn't have the room for a Celeroc plus Stone Edge now that we've seen Stealth Rock taunt and Toxic, uh, but I think that's kind of what you need to run. Especially when I have Kieran Black, a Celeroc is really useful. Uh, in the back. So, yeah, so he gets up the Toxic, and obviously I'm taunted, so I'm just going to kill this thing with Earthquake now, just take it out of the game. Um, and now I don't have to worry about that priority. Obviously, he's still got Scizor, which is the only Mon with priority left. Uh, he's going to bring a Landorus on my Crocodile here and Intimidate me, and at this point, I know he thinks I'm free set of fodder. Um, I don't have the Intimidate off, I'm taunted, I'm Toxic, and I'm minus one. What am I going to do to him? Knock off? Um, at this point, I've pretty much figured out it's Z, and... I was thinking, oh god, if he rock polishes right now, this could be really bad. Uh, but Suicune's my switch into this thing, so I'm going to go into Suicune as he gets off a Sword Stance, uh, which is not actually terrible. Plus two Earthquake doesn't kill me, and I can hope for a Scald Burn. Uh, he actually Continental Crushes, I believe he said it was Rock Slide, which does pitiful damage, uh, and I Scald do quite a bit more than I was expecting, or sorry, quite a bit less than I was expecting, and I get the burn. Um, that sort of shows me he's got some investment, I believe, or that was like a really low roll on the Scald. Um, not that it matters because he's burnt now, so he's at neutral attack, and at neutral attack an Earthquake doesn't kill my Suicune. So I'm basically sacking off my Suicune here to kill the Landers, which I think is a fair trade, um, considering how much work the Landers can do, and the fact that I have five physical attackers? I think I brought fully special Kieran Black this week actually, so I'm not I'm, I, well, I still have four physical attackers, and Intimidate's really bad, so I'm trading Suicune's life, which does nothing except maybe wall the Scizor in the rest of this game now. Suicune kind of could set up on, like, Rotom Heat before and Carbink, but it's not really doing anything except just killing the Landers here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to live the Earthquake because I'm a god, and kill the Landers. Um, now I've just given up my Suicune's life, I'm going to Toxic this Sceptile, and if he wants to kill me, he can do that. Which he chooses to do. Uh, at this point, Crobat's my switch in, because he still doesn't know if I'm Scarfed or Banded, unless he actually calced the damage on the Lycanroc. But I do level Dragon Pulse, so I'm just going to go for a Brave Bird here. 
His switch in is actually Scizor. I should have U-turned, um, but <laughs> damn, that Banded Brave Bird does so much damage to the Scizor. Crobat was a really good uh, pick this week. Oh, I should preface this by saying that Jed basically gave me the Mons that I should run with this week, and I just sort of went with the sets, so thanks a lot, Jed. Um, I appreciate the collusion. <laughs> yeah, Jed, Jed helps me on the team building a lot, so um, yeah, this was all his idea. Crobat was definitely 100% his idea. I, I didn't even see Crobat as an option until he mentioned it, so yeah, um, but yeah, that damage on Scizor, and now we don't live a bullet punch, but I want to keep Crobat in the back because uh, it can still deal with the Umbreon and the Kyurem really well, especially the Umbreon, because I can get a Banded U-turn off on that thing, or a Banded Brave Bird, and that thing's going to be hurting for a while. So I'm going to switch into Crocodile to take this bullet punch, get an Intimidate off, and see where he wants to go from there. Um, I can kill this thing with a knockoff right now, so I'm actually going to go for knockoff. Um, and it benefits me greatly that he brought an Umbreon. Um, now I'm going to taunt this thing. He doesn't know I have taunt yet, but I'm going to taunt this thing uh, so that it can not do any sort of wish shenanigans, which is really good for me. And now I believe, yeah, get up my rocks so that Scizor is taking a ton of damage on the switch and I chip down a few of the mons on his team. Um, Kyurem is taking 25%. We do die of the Toxic. Now Infernape comes in here. Uh, I thought I was going to do a lot more with close combat there. It seems to me that he's physically defensive based on that. Um, and Foul Play is actually not doing that much, even after the defense drop. Uh, but the taunt ends, so he gets to protect. I don't know why, because I wasn't... I mean, maybe if I'd, like, switched or something, that was good. But it was kind of a useless protect, because he didn't have leftovers. Um, Scissor comes in here. It will kill me with Bullet Punch, so I am just going to sack my Crobat. Um, yeah, it was the best thing for me to sack. Now I bring in Mimikyu. Mimikyu is going to Shadow Sneak this thing. Um, and a play rough will kill the Mega Sceptile, so I'm just going to go for that as he breaks my disguise. Big whoop, play rough kills this thing. Um, we do get a critical that did not matter whatsoever, it was 111% minimum. Kyurem comes out here, I'm actually thinking player is going to kill this thing, and Kyurem is a lot bulkier than I thought. Um, Mimikyu is probably a lot bulkier than he thought, because we tanked that I seem like a champ, and Shadow Seek is going to pick this thing off. So Mimikyu picking up three more kills, gotta love Mimikyu, <laughs> solid one. Um, Kyurem Black didn't even hit the field, which is kind of cool. Um, although it was mainly there for the Tox Specs anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, obviously we had Groundium Z Earth Power, which would have absolutely destroyed that Tox Specs, even if he was Spit F. Um, it did like 70% minimum or something ridiculous. Anyways, um, that was our week 11 against Statute or Brandon. If, uh, if Mano loses this week, then we clinch playoffs, and potentially next week can be a meme week against Bob, but we don't know that yet, so I will talk about that in the team builder for Bob. Uh, we do play him again in week 12. Week 12, we there are 12 coaches, obviously, and you're one of them, so we played each coach once, and then uh, we randomized to see who would play each other a second time in week 12. So, that's the dealio. We are playing Bob and the Atlantic City Altarias in week 12, and I will see you guys for the team builder.